everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I am your host, Jennifer Marilla. Today's video is all about how to create a freebie and what you need to be inside of it. If you catch my last video last week, I shared what you needed to have in a freebie, aka a lead magnet, and what platform you should use to create it. And then I sent you over to this video where I'm gonna teach you guys how to use Canva because I love Canva. Canva is literally one of my favorite platforms. If you're not on it, you should use it, you should check it out. It is amazing, it is so easy. And I'm actually gonna walk you through a freebie that I have created in the past that I'm gonna walk you guys through it and have you guys do it with me. Okay, so I'm gonna actually show you on my computer. So let's jump on, shall we? Hey guys, what is up? Uh, welcome back. Okay, so I have dived into Canva. This is my actual business Canva platform where my team and I are constantly in there. As you can see, there is tons of stuff here. You don't know what Canva is. Canva.com is a platform where basically you can create anything you want for your business. Graphically, you can do social media posts, you can do um, presentations, you can do freebies, aka lead magnets. Um, you can even create stuff that you can potentially take to print and all that stuff. So I'm in Canva.com. This is my login. I'm on my team. I go into my recent, and I'm going to go ahead and I've already pulled this up, but this is the document that we're going to work on, right? Um, I'm going to delete stuff and I'm going to put stuff on. I'm going to show you what it takes to create an actual freebie and how you can also do this for yourself and your business. And I'm going to walk you through this, right? Okay. So this is the first page of a freebie. This is already a freebie that I have in a template, the Six Figure Roadmap Four Day Masterclass Series Workbook. And this is a freebie I have. Now, normally you can do a freebie with a photo of yourself. You can do a freebie with a laptop. You can change this so much, right? And I am like, you guys, you can get so creative with this. It's not even funny, but you always want to make the first page approachable, presentable to anyone, not just male. I mean, not just females, like just anyone. So here you have templates and these are examples that you can download. You have elements, which I'll show you in a second. Then you have uploads and you can personally upload your photo. You have text, styles, logos, etc. Okay, so for this specific, we're gonna go to elements. And let's say I want to change the background or I wanna do like, yeah, let's see computer. Okay, so let's say I wanted to change the background to, I want something horizontal. So you see how many photos you can do. Let's do something else. Let's do, um, oh, let's do photos specifically. Uh, let's say I wanted something like this. So what I would do is I would delete this. So here, yes, it should be horizontally. It looks funny. But if I just, let's say I just had it like this, that could be a page. That right there, and I can actually do, and if you want to move it behind, I would just go position backwards. And there you have it. I would probably just drag it. Bam. Ooh, I feel really like that. <laughs> okay, so that's an example of what you can do. So we have now just created the cover. Um, usually what I also would add is, let's add my name on this. So six or five for a masterclass workbook. I am going to put, uh, by the way, you can add your logo and brand colors. So all of my logos and brand stuff is there. So I actually want to put with Jen Marilla. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to type it. You can make it smaller like this. Okay, and your brand logos and everything are actually over here on the side. All right, so I actually don't like that. Let's keep it aligned in the center. Okay, so that right there is the homepage. I've created that. Now you guys know what that looks like, right? And if you saw my last video that you can catch here, I really just drive into like exactly what you need, but obviously in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually put it together, okay? So the next page you'll need is an intro of yourself. Remember that this is important because the idea is that people that download this are not gonna know who the heck you are. <laughs> and that's like a good thing. You want people that don't know who you are to come into your world and your ether, and you wanna be able to tell them a little bit about you. So this is um, my bio. I have been doing this for six years, so it's a very long bio. You don't necessarily have to have it that long. It could just be like this long or just this long. It's totally fine. I always add a photo of myself so people know who I am. Um, but this is this page we put together. I have this page mocked up just normally because it's obviously something that I put in all of my workbooks, all of my freebies, all of my stuff. And so it's, it's added there. Um, here's another thing I actually forgot to add. So here's a trademark. You always want to add some type of trademark, some things that people know like, oh, this is hers, right? So then the second thing, like I said, is the intro. We have 
my website where people can find me. This is really, really important. And then I dive in to the welcome page. So the welcome page, I really teach you guys. I love how it's the same photo. <laughs> Maybe notice that. In this welcome page, what the point of this section is, is to really teach people how to use the document, right? So specifically this workbook, it's a masterclass series. They have a sequences. They have a, it was a four day like live uh, setting. And so I wanted them to bring in the workbook. So I walked them through the workbook. So like this specific workbook wouldn't work well if they didn't watch the videos. If they did it on their own, they could probably understand, but they might get a little lost. So I said, bring this workbook to your masterclass series, use it to take notes and refer to the guidelines to scale to six figures. I added this here connect with me on social media. So it's all of the ways that someone could work with me and reach out to me, ask me any questions, basically be part of my community and support me. This page again is extremely important because you want to tell people exactly how to create this. Um, let's change the photo so I can show you guys how to do that. Let's say I wanted to do a photo of social media. Canva also has like videos that you can add. Which I really freaking love. I really like this. So let's say this. And so you see how this is kind of hard to read. So what you can do with this is you can actually make it lighter. Like that. Okay, there we go. I like lay it. Uh, and let's go back to making it a little brighter. I want to keep it in line and center. So if I want to change the photo and I wanted to do something a little bit more different, I didn't want it to be me again. I can go ahead and you have this photo here. You can add that. Look how many photos. There's so many stock photos that you can use and you can go ahead and add that just like that. Okay, now we dive into the meat of the freebie. The meat of the freebie is exactly what you're offering someone and you're creating that freebie. This could be a checklist. This could be a fillable document like this where you're adding space where people can like write stuff and do all that. Um, and it can be as long as you need it to be in order to get the message across and be able to accomplish what it is that you're trying to have people accomplish while they are completing this document or utilizing the document. So just remember that. This specifically is quite a few days and remember, and quite a few pages, but remember this was a live interaction that I did. And then if they caught the replay, they still had four videos to go through. I think each video was like 30 minutes or 20 minutes. Um, and then I walk them through this freebie. So how do you add these boxes? I'm going to show you guys really quick. Uh, so it actually elements, and we go back to all the X and all out in elements is where you can add all of like the graphics and things like that, where you can add photos. Um, you can add like these like fun little gifs or that kind of things. And this is where you add shapes and things like that. So if I wanted to make these a circle, like where people can fill in circles, I could do that too. So let's say we wanted to add more text. The way you would do this would be add text. And you would go ahead and add the text box and then you can write whatever you want. I'm gonna save that for the sake of that. Um, if you wanted to change the colors of the background, you can do that, you can do red, like you can change them based on your brand colors. And let's say, for example, you wanted to, let's say we wanted to do the uh, checklist. Let's say you wanted to add a checklist, right? You wanted to create something like this. It would take you to a completely different page. So, and then you would like be able to sample and work whatever you want. But I personally like to start from scratch. And then the way you add a page is you would just do just go add page and it would just enter a blank page, right? Okay, so you create the meat of your context, right? You add text with the text box, you add colors, you can add boxes, you can add boxes and make spaces and do all of that. And that's kind of like self-explanatory, right? I always like to add an extra page of notes so that someone can add more notes if they need to, kind of like free writing, whatever they wanna add. And then this very last page that we're gonna put together, is the final thank you letter, right? So to keep the same style of the page, what I am going to do is actually I'm going to duplicate this one, delete this one, and we're gonna delete this box. We're gonna stage this and we're gonna say that. So we're gonna add another photo. 
let's say we want to try to create an exit page in this kind of format. So what I would do actually to close it out, I'm going to do this one and I'm going to move it down to the last page. You always want to make everything as cohesive and um, professional as possible. Like that's my biggest advice to people. So this is obviously the last one because we're going to delete this. What we're going to do here is we're going to put you. Or you could put an actual message. So we could say something like keyword for it down workbook, whatever the freebie is, the checklist, etc. You can actually change the spacing. So you can have more room and it doesn't look so crowded. Okay. And then we can do something like we can make a stream. What I'm actually going to do is take or actually we're going to do ways to connect with Jack on social. Ways to connect, and then what I would do is I would add this part here. Take this, and we want to take this here. This is basically the point of this, you guys, is we are literally just reiterating everything that we said. Oop. One more time to remind people that these are the ways that they can find us. We want to make sure that everything is as centered as possible. Okay, so that would be the last part of the freebie, is that you always want to have an ending page reiterating everything about where people can find you, where they can connect with you, and if they have any questions about the document, anything they need extra help with, you want to send them to a place where they can help you, where they can find you, and they can get the support that they need. That's it. And there you guys have it. I hope this was super helpful. Let's go back to the video. All right, you guys. So I hope that was super easy. Like I told you, Canva is pretty dummy proof. I love it. I use it for everything in my business. My team and I are just obsessed with it. And if you stuck around till the very end and you found this tutorial on how to create a freebie via Canva, then you are going to enjoy my Cash and Clients Academy. And because you stuck around till the very end, I am offering you a hundred dollar off discount. All you have to do is click on the link below where you go directly into our Cash and Clients Academy and you wanna drop this code to utilize your $100 off. And this course is for anybody who's looking to build an online business. If you are a service provider, you are a coach, consultant, a creator, an entrepreneur who's looking to build an online business and you don't even know where to begin, this course is for you. I walk you through creating a website, finding your logos, budgeting, what systems you need to have in place, and creating content, how to utilize consistent content, how to create your product suites and how to start reaching out to potential clients so that you can make your first thousand dollars in your business. All right, you guys, thanks again for sticking around. I hope this was super helpful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. But until next time, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.